Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk through a script that I wrote that is essentially a brute force dictionary type of password cracking tool. And this particular tool is written focused on RAR files and 7-zip files. If you have a password protected compressed file and you've forgotten the password and you have some some idea of what it could or should be and you want to iterate through a number of different passwords this is when a, t a tool like this is helpful uh, so I'll walk you through the script what it does how it works and we can see it in action and then share the code out so other people can use it if they find it helpful so what do we need to get started first we need well this script which I'll walk through in a minute uh, some of the other things I have, of course, is a list of passwords, which I have here. You can see these are the uh, these are all the passwords I think that could apply to my files, and I'll I'll show you this working um, a few different ways. So we have a password list, one on each line, and that's just a plain old text file. You will also need some files to try the tool out on. Uh, so I have a 7-zip file here and a couple of RAR compressed files here and you'll notice it's probably hard to read but what I did was I even split them across multiple volumes just to uh, ensure that it works on multi-part files. In my setup here one of these files has a password that matches this password list one of this other file has a password that matches in this password list and this third file doesn't match anything so that we can see uh, we can see what happens when it fails as well. Let's take a look at what the script is and how it works. All the way at the top here, we just check our path and make sure that the script can locate where our tools are installed. Uh, so uh, in case the tools are not in your path, you'd have to call them with the absolute path and nobody wants to do that, so let's just make sure they're there. Uh, in my script, I have a lot of comments to kind of help make it make sense. The next meaningful line that this does is it reads in each of these one at a time and tries to use it, but it actually doesn't extract the file. It only tries to open or list the file. Why don't I just try to extract every time? I don't ex try to extract every time because this is a relatively short list. I think there are about, yeah, 20 uh, passwords here. If you had a list of 200 or 2,000, be spending a lot of time trying to extract the file, and there's no sense in doing that because you don't. It's just a waste of, of processing time. So instead of actually extracting, what this does is it tries to list out the files. In the process of listing out the files, it evaluates if it's a success or a fail. If it does succeed, it writes the password out to a text file, and then also will put it to the screen, and then you're done. And if it fails, it'll just keep going through all the passwords until it fails and just will say, sorry, try later. Uh, I have two different lines here for each program. For 7-zip, uh, use this line. And if you want to try RAR files, use this line and comment this one out. And off you go. One more thing, of course, you need to point it to at your file. So let's do this in real time so you can see the uh, so you can see the script work. And I'll try I'll try with my first file, which is a 7-zip file. What is this line saying? It's saying use 7-zip to list the contents of this file, which is here in files, file 00, 7-zip 01. So just make sure that matches with the password of this variable which I'm reading in here. For each delimiter in this file, it holds it in this variable, and then it pipes it to what I'm using as my evaluation for success and fail, and if it finds it, it'll output it here in found pass. You can see my files are here. So, I just call it crackit.bat. Maybe in future versions, I'll have it a little more interactive, right? For now, it's, it's pretty crude, but it's effective. So here we go. All right, that was quite fast. So fast, you might not have even seen what it did. Uh, but what it did was it looped through each of these and found the password fried pickles 23. And it also, and you can see that was in my password list. And then when it found it, it just 
broke the operation because there's no point in looking at the rest of these because I found the one that worked and spits it out to the screen it also saves it uh, here or depending on where you tell it to save it and it spits it out here and so now I have uh, have this file saved here so that was for a 7-zip file well, let's see what happens if we try this for for a RAR file I change it to this hideous color and you may have heard it also makes a noise you can turn all of that on and off if you want um, I think it's just easy if you're letting this run for example if you do have a very large dictionary file and this is running for some time you may want to just be able to look quickly and see if this screen has changed color uh, which is why I changed the color of the screen you can turn that off if it's annoying to you let's now try our RAR example uh, and this one actually will be interesting because I know file 3 is not gonna match anything in here so we'll see what happens when it breaks okay so now you can see it is iterating through all of my passwords all 20 of my passwords trying the password against this RAR file I said no luck I couldn't find any of your passwords goodbye now let's see what happens when I try it on a file on a RAR file that I do have a password for this one copy my file name exactly I know my path is here this is where my file is right C crack files Here we are right so let's save that and let's try this again okay success correct password has been saved and now let's try this I have it right here copy it out and let's actually try to extract extract them to file one and I'll just paste it right here now be careful because you can see very clearly there is a space after my exclamation point and here I don't know for sure no it didn't copy so let's make sure there's a space after my exclamation that's why it's important to kind of see this echoed out it becomes very obvious that there's a space here and then I can say boom file one here's my stuff what did I get anything cool Ah, look at that. All kinds of little friends running through the field. Let's try our other password. That was a 7-zip file. Okay. The correct password has been saved. And I'll just grab this. Copy it out. Or it's, if it's easier for you, you can always go to the directory where it has. Put the found pass, and you can copy it from here, too. Okay. There it is. Get anything cool? Yes. More friends. What a success. I hope this is useful to someone. Thanks for watching.